What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to show you a video on how I made this Raspberry Pi into a web server. I'm not going to go through every step by step. I'm going to link to a really good resource that walks you step by step through that process, at least for the mail side of things. Um, this device I have configured to be a like I said, a web server hosting actual web files, websites, and also a mail server, a full functioning mail server with both inbound and outbound email. Uh, not very many people have uh, do this, but this thing, the, this is the Raspberry Pi 2, and it is plenty strong enough, has plenty of horsepower and, uh, and memory to be able to serve a, a small website and very low volume email. Okay, so for the hardware, all you need, this is, like I said, this is a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, Model B. It's, it's, it was just released, uh, this is, it's in February 2015. It was just released this month. It's much better, um, it has more memory, faster processing than the previous model. Um, you will need a mouse, a keyboard, a TV or monitor, although this does not have a monitor output it has a HDMI output so unless you've got a an adapter that you can switch from HDMI to DVI or VGA or something like that you'll just need to hook it up to a TV and last but not least you will need a Ethernet connection although you can use uh, these these Raspberry Pi starter kits come with a USB wireless dongle that you can just plug into one of these USB ports and use wireless but um, you know for a a web hosting situation you're definitely going to want to use wired connection you are not going to want to use wireless um, you'll just run into problems okay once you've got everything connected um, that we've talked about the last thing that you want to connect is the power connection and this is a just a two amp um, five volt power supply similar to what charges your cell phone just a little bit higher amperage so um, let's see where is the connector right here so we're going to plug the power in there and as soon as you plug in the power the lights will come on and it will start booting up Okay, so it's powered on and should be booting up. Let's switch our monitor to the right input here. And you've got your uh, Linux starting up. Now this is a, this is just on the Raspbian um, distribution of, of Debian Linux which uh, comes with the Raspberry Pi. It's a free operating system based on Linux, obviously. And uh, this is very, very easy to use. As you can see, it's already booted up. It takes about 15 seconds to boot up and then it wants your login. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna go through step-by-step step on how to do this. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and log in um, real quick. And so you can see the graphical user interface and all that kind of stuff. So here we go, this is the graphical user interface. Um, anyway, there's millions of videos out there about this kind of stuff, I don't wanna cover this. But uh, we are in, we are booted up and it is running now. So this is where I'm gonna link the step-by-step -step, uh, process on how to load um, Postfix as your mail transport agent and Apache as your, your mail server and get your site going. Okay, welcome to my my web server closet. As you can see, I've got equipment everywhere. I've even got a, if you haven't watched my video about this air conditioner, I've got an air conditioner in here to keep it cool in here. So you can probably see right now, and 
some of my, you know, battery backups, router. I mean, this is just a hot mess. I try to keep this clean and dusted. It's disgusting. But uh, so this is pretty obvious why you might want to use Raspberry Pis as your web servers. If you're into home hosting like I am, uh, maybe even you do it as a business um, for very small businesses or something to sell some web hosting to them. Um, you know, this little half rack here that I've got mounted to the wall, I could fit literally hundreds of Raspberry Pis inside of it. And they're dead quiet. They don't have any fans. As you can hear, it's kind of loud with all the, the server fans going. They produce a lot of heat. Um, and they don't operate under much of a load. Um, you know, web servers don't get taxed heavily unless you have high traffic and you're running a bunch of custom stuff. So there's really no reason to have a full-blown, you know, Dell server or something like that unless you have a business that needs that kind of power. So using Raspberry Pis, a lot less power consumption. You're talking less than 10 watts, probably four or five watts on a regular basis, and no, much less heat, uh, no noise, much smaller footprint, could be much more organized than I have this hot mess here. So anyway, this is just kind of an introduction video. I might do some more in-depth videos later if you guys are interested, but I uh, just wanted to show you something cool that I was up to. Hopefully, uh, it's really easy to do. Don't be intimidated by the, the how-to instructions. This is something that pretty much anyone can do by just following the instructions step-by-step step and learning as you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.